All right, folks, last time we met in person, um, and you were working with the Google site template for the Virtual Learning Commons. There was some question about editing the background, um, and I've done some research on my own. I think I figured it out, so I wanted to share that with you. So here I am um, in Chrome looking at Google News, and I'm logged in to Google. I'm going to go to sites.google.com, just as you did, and do uh, create a new site and search the gallery as you did for virtual learning oops virtual learning commons and choose the template and select it and then I'm going to name my site InfoDons Sandbox PLC and it's going to just auto generate that URL which I'll go ahead and see if it'll take anyway Type in the capture code, and we'll see if we create a site. There we go. All right. So now I have a virtual learning common site um, like the one you started with, and it has um, a big header area where you see the books. What looks like the pages of closed books. It has a, a logo header. It has this horizontal navigation bar. It has a sidebar. It has a three-column main content section. And then it has these areas on the left and right, and that's what I want to look at first. If we come over under uh, Open More Actions menu, go down to Edit Site Layout, you can turn these headers on and off. So if I just click the button, it takes the header away. If I click it again, it adds the header back. It would do the same thing with the navigation, the sidebar, and the footer. We were talking about editing the footer earlier. Uh, and that's another way to turn that off. I want to focus on the site width though. It, right now it's defaulting to the theme default for uh, the width of the site um, and we don't know what that is but we can play around with it by customizing it. We could for example say that we want the site to occupy only 80 percent of the width of the screen and when we do that we see that these sidebar sections or the wrapper for the page uh, have increased while the page itself is uh, decreased in width. We can make it 100% of the screen width if we want to. We can also designate a specific pixel width if we wanted to. I'm working on a big screen so 1200 pixels is only part of my screen. I'm going to go back to 90% though, which I like because uh, I like to have a little bit of buffer on the left and right, and that looks like what the theme default is. So we see this wrapper, but I want to change what those look like. So I'm going to close this, go back to my uh, action, more actions menu, go to manage site, where there's a left sidebar with a number of items. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom to themes, colors, and fonts. And notice I'm looking at the entire page now and the background for the entire page and a wrapper image so that area around the content of the page is considered the wrapper so I'm going to choose an image for the wrapper and I happen to have one that I've been playing with earlier my wife takes lots of fall color pictures that I really like so I've chosen one of those I'm going to pick it, it takes a minute to upload, it's a pretty big picture so um, it takes just a few seconds Okay and now it's populating those wrapper areas with that image of all colors. Now just for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to go to site header and I'm going to use the same image for the site header image. Now again it's going to upload. It should be a little faster this time. but And there you go. That's how you change the background image for your Google Sites template.